Okay, while it's doing that, let me, um, it's still uh, generating. Okay, so here is ChatGPT4, and this is generating your homework for you mm -hmm. uh, on the front end, but we're doing a multiplayer game, so we're not gonna be able to just ship this, you know. But we can start with this, right? Okay, let's start with this. So there we go, let's bring that in. And let's see. I, uh, however, uh, put together this lovely, <laughs> feeling kind of sad that uh, I did all this you work. You did a beautiful job. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I've got a bunch of like some basic graphics. This is just really just a host to start, but I didn't generate really any function bodies. I've got generate asteroids, move asteroids, figured out a couple of ideas around move spaceship, but I really don't have anything here. And then if we go into game components class, nothing for players, nothing for the, the, the lasers, nothing for the asteroid. So it's just kind of the, the shell of an app. And if we, uh, if we compile the shell of an app, it, it doesn't compile because it's, it's got 60 errors because there's nothing there. WA okay. over here, and so. we're gonna generate some of the ship graphics. So I'm gonna paste a prompt in that says, create a video game graphics for a small tops down view, and I'll hit create. And this is gonna use Dolly, that's not the picture. I don't know, and you, you go and put a really creative prompt in, then it's like, here's a pixel hamster thinking. How awesome are these, right? Pretty cool. GitHub Copilot chat, which is here inside of Visual Studio uh, 2022, and then we'll switch to VS Code. Which is part of Copilot X, which everybody here got access to, I think, yesterday. Everybody should have access to that. And uh, I love that it says, uh, surprises are possible. So, like, let's just all fill in all the classes on this page. Make all the properties lowercase and the parameters uppercase, period. Make all properties public. I did this like 19 times, but I didn't do it in a room with 98 people. Fill in all the classes on this page, period. Make the properties lowercase and the parameters uppercase, period. Make all properties public, period. Anyone who texts me or hangs out with me knows that I literally do this uh, with, um, with email, with uh, texting, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Looks pretty good. That looks like it did the bullet class. Didn't do it all. Did it do it all? I don't feel like it did it all. Mm. Ah, you know why? Look at this pink thing right here. What's uh, that? That is the context window. Actually. Right. Like I said, on this page, that might have been vague. It might have, you know, it might not have understood what I meant. I could go and try doing that prompt again. I could select everything and do that. I could change my school. So they didn't do it. Let's try this. Help and do all this. <laughs> this is called prompt engineering. <laughs> ah, much better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, of course, it's certainly not expecting to do that, but we'll go ahead and hit no. insert, and I want to point out something. We won't really know. Yeah. Cool. Ah, it does it. Very nice. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Pull out this glass. I have to like remember, okay, engage means do all the tests for me. Cool. Uh, lowercase, did everything lowercase? Yeah. X and Y. Yeah, it looks reasonable. Yeah. Right? Okay, probably fine. Ship well, this, this is one of the... <laughs> actually, you should definitely code review. Uh, yeah, like because like the size and speed, it probably just made those numbers up. Like I have no idea if those are the right numbers, but I can kind of look at them and think about this. But this is the thing, though. Is it reasonable for me to just assume? No, I need to know that this yeah. is... Yeah. I need to be a coder here. This is supposed to tape, save me type, time typing. I want to be Iron Man, not Ultron. Yeah, well, I do want to be Ultron. Oh, well, that's your career yeah. goals. <laughs> so that's a really important thing. This is meant to augment people, but I still am going to spend time figuring that out and learning what's going on, and it's probably still not going to compile because I didn't actually do the actual stuff like moving asteroids and, and doing anything like that. So that's kind of challenging. So it fills in classes. We're still learning how those things are going to work. Now I move into games. I've got generate asteroids. I've got move asteroids. I've got to do that as well. Now, I can not just hit Alt, but I can also right-click and say Ask Copilot right here. And that'll do that in line. Or I can type in the chat. So I can move kind of organically around and do this however I want. Write this method. Oh, wow. It actually is like assuming. Look, it oh, yeah. popped out Generate Test. That's cool. Write this method. And this context on the right-hand side is continuing. So it's kind of learning, and it's also using the context of the currently open tabs. So there's generate asteroids. That's pretty cool. 
That's cool because it includes math. Move asterisk. Yes. Yeah. Do you understand anything? I don't understand math. Okay. No. Uh, make this one also. Sometimes I say please, and the code is better. It actually, does, it, sweet talking. It actually does help. It, it does a flattering it. Yeah. Yeah. What must that be like? <laughs> it's like, why are you, what was that? That's the part where you're yeah. supposed to be nicer to me on yeah. stage. Um, okay, and then uh, bullet asteroids collision detection. This is where we're going to get into some really interesting stuff. Uh, make, generate this method also, please. Anyone else sing song they're typing? Maybe, they're just, maybe that's yeah. just me. It's always funny when, like, the one person claps, the one person <laughs> And then what? they're embarrassed. No, but they right. laugh or they smile and they say something like that. And with that, what I heard yeah. wasn't a chuckle. I heard, I think you're funny, Scott. <laughs> That's the message that comes, uh, that comes here. Because for every one of those, there's a tweet who's like, hey, the handsome thing he's funny. This is not funny. All right. Ship asteroids collision detection. That's interesting. I didn't ask it to do that. I asked it to do bullets asteroids collision detection. So that's kind of interesting. Do I care? You were, so you were in, are you sure you were in the right one? I was in, oops, generate asteroids. Yeah. I came down here, move bullets. Here we go. We need to detect. No, you were in the wrong one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. But it, gener it oh, generated what? Because of context, probably. Yeah, yeah because you were uh, in. Make this one. You sure? Let's find out. Yeah. See the gray, and you see the pink And actually, right if there. you'd said generate and then put the function name in, mm. it would have probably generated that one. But you actually just put the prompt in in the middle of it and said, generate this. Yeah. Now, this is a good example of where I'm like, feeling, not feeling super confident in this, because yeah. I'm kind of questioning these locks. Yep. And I'm questioning these four each's. So, but, you know, we're on a, we're on a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the, yeah, real, yeah. the real question is this. <laughs> if, if we feel right. badly about this, like I'm noticing, one more time. it didn't score. It didn't, so, Sa save that away. Just in case, and then try one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that. So we're gonna like we don't trust that. That one feels kind of, kind of sus. So I'm gonna go and uh, generate this method. Yeah, that one was kind of, kind of mid, as the yeah. kids say. Well, I expected to see something about explosions. Ah, here exception. you go. Explosion. Not implemented uh, exception with a convenient link to the Copilot AI assistant. Let's find out why we have a no not implemented exception. I just said, Didn't you write that code analyzed. Didn't you? Th yeah. Let me have my moment. Right. This error happens because the code is throwing in a not implemented exception. <laughs> it happens when the method is not implemented. Ah. Yeah. This might be happening because the developer has in fact not implemented the code. <laughs> right? Let's see how we could fix it. I, I, it could go uh, either way. I don't really know. Us? To fix this, let's find out. Very excited. Oh, here uh, it goes. The, here goes. the developer needs, needs to, to, implement to implement the code. The code. <laughs> oh, my God. We should well, do that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This can be done by, OK. And then it's like, that's very exciting. Yeah. Or, or just you know, spitball in here. Just delete uh, that line. Or just run. comment that line yeah. out. Yeah. So yep. we're going to go ahead and do yeah. that. Yeah. Fixed. Does it compile? <laughs> it's still going. Like, it's, it's willing to. I, I appreciate that you're going. The developer, that's me. Can check the call can check stack. Check the call stack and look for any other exceptions that might be contributing. So helpful. Yeah. So nice. Okay. I'm good, though. Oh, wow. And it links too. Click on that. Copilot chat has a slightly different look, but it's the same kind of stuff. Yeah. And you can see that I'm signed in and it knows who I am uh, myself. Okay. So the same exact codes. So we have VS and VS Code opening the same exact project. I'm using VS to run it, and then the front end here. Now, under www.root.js, we've got our JavaScript stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to have a JavaScript file to go and do the rendering, uh, the rendering.js. We have none of that written right now. It's literally, and that's well, why we're running Sorry, late. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. You know, yeah. it's just covering, covering up for your failings has become a, yeah. um, just kidding. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to paste this in in the interest of time. I'll show you the prompt, though, because I don't, we're not going to hide anything from you, friends. Uh, I've just copy pasted in a prompt rather than saying it. Add a signal R connection to get a frame object, the one we saw with FrameStreamer, from the back end. And this, this is kind of cool. It's because you're just going to take the output 
and right. create a class based on that output. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because we haven't figured out how to make them talk to each other yet, right? So we're going to talk to a back end. We have to decide that it's going to be going to be Game Hub, right? So we're going to yep. generate a little bit of JavaScript here. And this JavaScript looks like this. So we've got a signal R connection. We want to note the URL is Game Hub. We have an update frame and then a do some stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to note that this this connection is a, a const. I'm going to make that a var. So there's kind of like, these are things you kind of have to know, because you know you mm -hmm. need that. And then um, with, the, uh, with the game frame, in order to do some debugging, this frame object here, when we're updating the frames, I'm going to want to have a, a global. That way, if we need to debug this thing at some point, we're going to have that. And then I'm just going to hide that. So when the, when the frame comes, oh, wow, oh, that. There, yeah. hang on. So that's in context. That, so that's a great point. That's yeah. Copilot and Copilot Chat. Yeah. Copilot Chat generated that. And let me see here. We see normalizing game hub. And what I'm expecting to see is uh, the output of the oh, Join the game. Yeah. Oh, I got to join play, the game. Yeah. You're right. Scott, yeah. play. And then it's going to. Scott, join the game. Do, 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 do. And I was expecting to see. A frame pop in right here, and I did not because the frame. Oh, let me try to look down here at the bottom. Where's the console? Let's go and say frame here. Oh, did we call it game frame? What did we name that thing? Game, game frame, yeah. Game frame, sorry. Game frame. Game frame. There it is. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's what I needed to see. Okay. So the reason that this is interesting, this is the serialized version of what the back end, back -end is created, yeah. right? So we're inside of uh, the, the, the front end here. We're going to right click on that and say copy object. This is kind of cool. So we're in edge, right? And, and I we're going to have, yeah. have it generate our front end code based off of that encoding. Because we are going to share those things. Yeah. So I'm going to hit like this. So that's kind of what a frame looks like. Yeah. We got players, X and Y, again, Angles. generated from the back end code. Yeah. Here's asteroids. I, have, I don't need that many asteroids. So we're just, we'll have, we don't need that many examples, I guess. And then I, can, I know for a fact that I'm going to need X and, X and yeah. Y for, uh, for bullets, right? So we're going to need a couple of those. And just, for explosions, too. And for explosions. Yeah. OK, let's do that. So this is showing you that you kind of have to know a little what bit. You're doing, yeah. Because you have to have an intent. And if you get stuck and you don't know what your goal is, you're going to be stuck. OK, so I got bullets. I got explosions. I got one asteroid. Looks legit. Now, that is going to put that in the clipboard. So I'm hitting Control-A, Control-C, and that's now in the clipboard. So this is, I think, if we were to say, the most controversial prompt that we're going to do right now. And we've tried this a lot of different ways. We have this sample here that looks like the frame. And I think this is kind of interesting that it's this powerful, but I think it's also arguably programming. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So buckle up, kids. It's Programming in natural language, though. It's going to get is, real. Which means? Implement the render logic in JavaScript. I will get the frames from the back end. It's a business description. It is. This is real. There might be multiple spaceships from multiple players. Right? We're literally writing a user story. And within that, then we say, here's a frame object example. That frame object example we generated by running the actual code in the back end. Yep. And this okay. is an example of prompting it with an example Right. So then, yeah, the controversy is, is that correct and appropriate, right? Like, do you think that that's a reason? Is that easier than writing the code? It depends on the person, right? Yeah. So let's see if it can handle that. The part that I don't like is they work so hard, and it's like, sure, <laughs> either copy it or insert it. I'm still, I have trust issues. Um, and it's not just because you're looming over me. Um, no, no, it's fine. Who am I to say? Um, so I'm just going to paste that right here. <laughs> And then I'm going to go and say uh, shift control P and format document because I want that to look a certain way. And then this is the part of, uh, of getting a prompt like this from uh, something like uh, Copilot Chat that you forgot to call render frame. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see if I actually like, can join the game. <laughs> pew, 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 Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs>